Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to build a website today. And before that, let me share something very interesting with you. I created my own website in just an hour. My website nagrawal.com. It is created using Vibe Coding, and you can see it's completely functional. You can go, you can enroll for my test series. I'm generating sales through it, and it's working well. Can you imagine me, someone from a non-tech background who doesn't understand coding, who doesn't understand what happens in the back end i created a website just with prompts just with iterations and if i can do it anyone can do it you don't need to learn coding or any tech jargon to build such kind of website if you can think and you can translate your thoughts into a prompt even you can make a website like this so let me show you how i built a website and for this video i have a couple of ideas in my mind for the first one i'm going to show you and actually we are going to build it together live Okay, so now let's get started with building our first website today, which is about tracking finance jobs. So let's say if you are someone who is looking for jobs in finance, you can simply make a prompt that okay, give me a real time job tracker which tracks the job around uh, private equity, investment banking, and the other keywords that you want to maintain. You want to track what all jobs you applied, where you were rejected, where the process has been initiated, and what is the status, etc. So that's what we are going to do for the first one. So let's say you are not someone who is good at prompting you can simply ask ChatGPT hey i want to build this through vibe coding or maybe you can just even tell the name of the software you are using so you can say that i'm building an app on triplet can you help me make a prompt which i can use to build my website so i will paste my prompt here which is a real time job tracker filters for sector like pib public equity etc i will do start chat Okay, so now if you look here, it, it is telling you that I'll include the following features. You can go through all of them. You can even change the plan. You can just say that, hey, I don't want a manual job entry form. Or maybe you can just change, okay, I want more sectors. Uh, you can even say like, I don't want the saved keyword alerts, etc. I'm not changing anything currently right now. There are two options, build an entire app, start with a design. So what happens is when you click on build the entire app, then it creates the entire website with functionality in one go. But let's say you start with design, it creates a prototype. Okay, this is how your website would look like and the buttons would not work because it is just a prototype. Imagine someone created Facebook front end but when you click on profile, nothing comes up because it is just a prototype. For now, I'll click on build the entire app because we want to go through the functionality. We want to really see a functional website. So let's click on start building. So as you can see, it has started with the process. Okay, so now it's building the app. And as you can see, this page is ready. It tells you the dashboard, the new jobs, saved jobs, my applications, which is currently zero. So now this is one job. So here you can see that all the jobs which are related to equity research, asset and wealth management, global banking, all are listed here. I can just go one by one and click on apply, share a full profile, etc. We don't need to do that right now but this is just a demo. If we go down, this is private equity, Bain Capital. If I go there, I can see this vacancy, P Summer Associate 2026. You want to apply, you click on apply and you will apply directly. So here you don't need to go on LinkedIn, search through the jobs. You can just tell your filters, okay, these are the five, six things I'm looking for. Currently it's at a very basic level. You can even define a lot more filters and say that, okay, these are the kind of roles. These are the kind of job descriptions I'm looking for. And here you can even save this job for later. You can even mark it applied, status updated. So let's say if you go to save jobs, now this job is saved in your tracker. Now, some of the links were not working. So what we can do is, and this is very important, when you will build your own website, there would be a couple of things which would not be working, but you can simply fix it. So I'll just tell that the first job, Goldman Sachs is not, the first job link 
Goldman Sachs is not working. Can you please check? It says no jobs on LinkedIn page. So it's saying that LinkedIn links are generic that may not have active jobs. So let me update them to point to the company's actual LinkedIn careers page. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, so now it has fixed the issue. And let's say now if I click on Blackstone, it shows me the jobs which are listed against Blackstone on LinkedIn. You can even modify it to say that, uh, tell me the jobs which are there on company's careers page. So instead of LinkedIn, it would be linked to respective company's careers page. And the good part is, you even have the email ID of people who you can email for finding jobs. And not just the email ID, the people you, you can reach out to. Okay, so now let's move on to the next website, which is about personalized content. So let's say if you're like me, who doesn't like to go through multiple websites like Economic Times, Times of India to read the news. I made this website to say that, okay, I'm interested in these four or five topics, which is your business, startup, uh, your private equity news, investment banking news, etc. Can you create a dashboard for me which pulls in the latest news on these topics just for me, customized for me? I'll show you how it looks like. So you can see the prompt, build a personalized content hub website for me. I want a simple dashboard that shows the latest news. Um, let me save items, add notes, update my interest anytime. And it is, it's a very simple four or five line prompt which you can write. It started building on it. Uh, firstly, I asked it to make a design. I like the design and then it built the functionality. So let's see what it built. This is your content feed. Uh, there are certain, there are some recent updates based on my preferences. Now let's say this was posted an hour ago. I click on Misho and it just opens that news for me. Misho post first profitable quarter. Then Zepto. Now this is not currently very up to date, uh, but you can actually give it prompts that I want exact last 24 hours news. So it would always pull the news like that. But you need to give the accurate prompt of how you would like to see the content. So this was August 30, 2024. Zepto adds 340 million to basket. Then there is one more, which is KKR aims to raise 15 billion. This was November 2020, news. So this is the latest one. Then you can go down. There are other news as well, which is Blackstone acquires logos. So this news is again open. So all the links are working perfectly fine. Uh, this news tag is not currently looking great. So maybe I'll just ask it to remove that. What you can also do is you can, so there are three categories I wanted to build. One was news, another one was videos, and then it was podcast. So let's say I want to watch this podcast. The first is a suggestion that this website gave me. Now I want to watch this. So this is private equity, private room, private equity reverse due diligence. So all these podcasts are now recommended. I can simply click here. I don't need to go through Spotify and search for all the podcasts. I don't need to go through YouTube and see, okay, what I want to watch. Okay, so now I told you that I was not liking this news label. So I will just show the screenshot. I will drop it here. I'll write, hey, I'm not liking the news label in blue color here on these three news. Can you please remove it across all the cards? The best way to do it is take a screenshot so that there is no communication gap and the work is done correct at the first time. Let's say I want to search something. Okay. 
okay now you can see that that news label it is removed now and it's looking very clean yeah this looks perfect okay what should we do next on this website let's say we want to we want to update it well so i can just say that mishu news is old and should not be shown in recent updates can you make sure that only last 24 hour news is displayed in recent section Okay, so why it is being corrected? Let me show you one more very important feature here, which is publish. Okay, so on your left hand side, uh, that's a job tracker prompt which I had given, but uh, the website which we were seeing that was already published. So here I want to tell you how you can publish the website. Let's say you want to name it as job. You want to call it as career ready. This is available, public, then just click on publish. Provision, build, bundle and now it would be done soon. So for example, I'll, I'll just copy the domain cure, which is content diet and see this website is working. And this is not my replete page, it's just the, it's just an independent domain which I can actually type in any browser, be it Google Chrome or anything else. I can just type it here and it would work. So that's how you can deploy your website and go live. Not bad, now it has updated the news articles to 2025 at least, November 25. You can further give specific directions that, okay, I only want November 25, then maybe it will do a better job. For example, this article is actually new, November 21, which is daily roundup, your story, etc. Let's open this one, start of funding. Okay. And then this is Maruti Suzuki, November 21. Interesting. Maruti Suzuki invest two crores in connected mobility startup Gravity. So, so like you just saw, I was just giving prompts to Replit and it was doing the job. Initially, you might feel that there are some errors which I have to work again and again on. But trust me, once you learn how to give the right prompts and how to do it right in the first time, you will love it. I'm the live example who is actually using what I built through Replit in real life for my registrations, for my sales and everything. So after watching this video, pick any idea you have, turn it into a prompt and then turn it into a website. And you can do all of this while using Replit. And if you want free credits, you can use my referral link, which is in the description and get $10 worth of free credits. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.